Hey there guys, welcome to another World of Warcraft add-on video. Today we're going to look at Voodoo, which is a raid frame, which you would use for uh, dungeons, partying, raiding, whatever you want. Uh, Voodoo is quite complex and it has a lot of options. Uh, you can see it's here. Uh, the default is ugly as hell, so you cannot just install it and use it, you need to customise it a little bit. We're going to quickly customise it for a Discipline Priest. Uh, probably not a good setup for Mythic Raiding, but it, it'll be good enough for dungeons. So let's get started. If you type slash vd opt, you'll get your option screen up. So this is ugly panel here. We're going to quickly get rid of all the panels we don't need. So if we click tools and panel wizard and just click apply, I'll get rid of them nice and easy. I like mine horizontal at the bottom, so I'm just going to move the group down at the bottom. I'm going to go back to panels and click loose, get rid of that header, and I'm going to put them horizontal. And then I'm going to go into sizing and make it nice and big so that I can actually click it which we'll do and put it right at the bottom so I don't like the uh, default look of them so I need to change the uh, thingy to flat and put it on gradient what gradient will do is it will change this based on the health so as I get low on health this will come down here and it will go red makes it nice and easy to see if someone's taking damage I'm also going to make the text the class colour so, as a Discipline Priest, I need to know about two debuffs, really. Debuffs, I mean buffs. And that'll be Atonement and Powered Shield. So, I'm going to put them onto the bars. I'm going to get rid of these raid icons, because they are big and in the way. So, if we just quickly go to General and Indicators, we'll leave the outer one as aggro. We'll change the inner one to roll colour. And get rid of the icon. So now I'm green because I'm a healer, and Camden's red because she's DPS. If we go back to panels and click hot icons, if I put it to this nice layout here, we'll change that to, uh, well, turn off a minute. If you look at these numbers, you got one, two, threes all the way over there for some reason. This is where the icons will appear, so if I just stick a shield on myself, really tiny icons. So I want atonement where the shield one is, and I want the shield one up at the top. So that needs to be atonement, that needs to be powered shield, and we don't need that last one. Uh, we need to tick this button here so I can see it on other people as well. And I also need to make this icon bigger. So if I click more, put my shield on so it's really tiny, make this flat. So slot one is too small, let's make it bigger. I want to really be able to read the cooldown on it. That's nice and big. Power word shield, don't need to see the cooldown really. Because I'm going to use that whenever it's ready. I also want a bar that appears across here and counts down uh, for atonement. So if I hit hot bars, uh, pick where it's going to be. So if I pick this one, and I'll have it at the bottom. It's a slot free atonement and on others, if I use it on myself you see this horrible grey bar. If I then go to colours and hot two, see my home atonement one, I'm gonna make this red. So it stands out basically. And now I should have a bar, an icon for my buffs, and I can see at a glance whether I need to heal anyone or whether I need to put atonement on people. So Voodoo also has built in sort of macros for casting. Uh, I don't really need them myself because I've got a Razor Nagger and I use my own macros but I do use it for dispelling. So clicking the spells panel brings this up. So if I left click at the minute I'll use Shadow Mend. Uh, I don't want that feature so I'm going to change this to target so if I left click them I'm just going to target them. If this brings up text here so it'll say command spell macro whatever it is you know you've tapped the right thing in. My right button is going to be Purify because when they get a debuff that I can actually dispel by default, Voodoo will change this bar to be grey and I can just see it's gone grey, right click it and I've dispelled. And then the middle button is going to be the menu and that will let me change things like if it's picked out the wrong role or someone's changed role mid dungeon I can right click them, uh, middle click them and change the role. I don't need Renew and I don't need blind, uh, Binding Heal. <coughs> 
you can also use your modifiers, so if you haven't got a mouse with 17 buttons, you can use your modifiers and put all your spells in here, just like you would with Healbot. And literally, that is it. All I would do for setting up a displace for dungeons. There are other panels available. There's enemy panels. You can split them into tanks, healers. But that's up to whatever you want to do for your for your setup. I'm not sure it would be that good for mythic uh, healing, the way I've got it set up. But we'll find out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you. Uh, Manage to get voodoo working if you decide to use it.